Hi, I'm Richard from Plant Photonics, and it's springtime. Springtime is the ideal time to start a new grow. It's getting warm enough at night that your little darlings won't suffer and get cold. And spring is also a great time to have a spring sale, which is what we're doing. We're now having our best ever sale. We have cut prices as low as they will ever, ever get. So it's a great time to buy it. Now, if you're thinking about buying a lead grow light, why Plant Photonics? Well, we're actually one of the oldest lead grow light companies in the world. We've been going for about 12 years. We have an excellent, in fact, unparalleled reputation for reliability and quality. Our lights are the coolest running, longest lasting, most easily repaired and upgraded lights in the world by a huge margin. Now, if you're listening to me from England, there's another really good reason to buy our lights. They're extremely efficient and you pay some of the world's highest electricity prices. In fact, you're about number nine in the entire world, lucky you. And with the net zero carbon program coming in, your electricity is about to get a hell of a lot more expensive. So a lead Grow light from Plant Photonics is an excellent way to keep those electricity bills down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through what we've got on sale and also a quick discussion on the pros and cons of each type of light and the area that I recommend that you use them over. So the only light that's not on sale, well it is on sale but it's not part of the spring sale, is the 50 watt light. So we're going to be starting off with the Amethyst Energy DS100. Now this is a 100 watt LED grow light, that's the actual lead draw, and it's equivalent to about 260 watts of HPS. That makes it ideal for sort of like a 60 by 60 grow tent, and because of the low heat output, you can actually use it in a 50 by 50 without any problem as well. Now when I talk about recommended coverage, what I'm talking about is most people, for most people the gold standard for lighting is a 600 watt HPS over one square meter. Okay, so all of the ratings that we give will give you that sort of result. If I say it's all right for, that would be the equivalent of using about a 400 watt HPS over one square meter. It's a little bit uh, lower yield, but still a viable option. Now, why the red blue ones? Now, they're the most efficient. They will give you the highest yield of things like medicinal herbs, tomatoes, bell peppers, whatever, that you can get for the wattage. Now, we also have on sale, and this is now down from 260 pounds to 199 pounds, so a really big reduction here. The next one is the Stellar Energy Full Spectrum 100 Watt. It's recommended for the same sort of area. Now, people ask, why do you do two different types of light? Why do you do the red, blue, and the white? Why not just one or the other? Well, the reason is the red, blue is the most efficient. It'll give you about 20% more yield for the same wattage than the Stellar. However, some people do not like the purple light. It can also make things difficult when you're trying to look for uh, spider mites, mold, whatever. With a white light, it's a more pleasant light for you, and it does make it easier to spot any infestations or problems early on when it's easier to nip in the bud. Another reason is a lot of people like using the full spectrum lights as supplemental lighting for things like orchids, bonzois, anything that you're going to be looking at and maybe have out in the room. I've sold a lot to people who don't get enough uh, sunlight in the winter for their orchids, and they like to use these as supplemental lighting just to top up the daylight and keep their plants healthy. Again, this has been reduced from 260 to 199 pounds, and that is a really good price. Now, next one up is the Amethyst Energy Dual Spectrum 150. That's equivalent to almost 400 watts of HPS, and that's ideal for sort of like uh, 70 by 70, 80 by 80 and you can use it again in a 60 by 60 for maximum yield that that'll give you sort of like the same amount that you'd get with a thousand watt HPS over a one meter area and of course we also have a full spectrum version of this now these both been reduced from 350 pounds down to 275 pounds so again a major reduction this is not just knocking 10 pounds off this is a really big reduction and finally, our most powerful light, which is the Amethyst Energy DS300, that's 300 watt actual lead draw, that's equivalent to about 800 watts of HPS. 
And that's been reduced from 699 down to 520 pounds. And of course, we also have the stellar energy version of this light as well. Now, some people ask, why do you do this as two panels? It's basically two of the DS150 or FS150 lights daisy chained together. So you only still need one mains lead. Now, the nice thing about having two lights is you can adjust the one. It gives you a greater, uh, more even coverage. And the other thing is a lot of people like growing more than one strain. Quite often someone will grow one, you know, some sativa and some indica. The sativa plants, of course, grow higher. So it means that you can raise one light up on one side of your grow it space for the indica and keep the lights a little bit lower on the other side. The big area of the panels gives much more even coverage than it would if it was just a single more compact light and just more versatile all around. Well, I hope you found this interesting and I hope to hear from you. So, having a nice spring and uh, enjoy your growing.